From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time, transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of trouble comes in pairs. The village of the Bayukos was in turmoil. Devil dancers whirled about the ceremonial fire. Witch doctors in grotesque masks made frantic gestures to ward off the demons. And a frightened native broke away from his guards and dashed wildly toward the beach. He climbed into a tiny dhow, shoved off, and hurriedly raised the small sail. But already a dozen angry warriors were clambering into a sleek war canoe to give chase. Make war canoe travel fast, men of Bayuko. Send paddles through water like Ara the lightning. Look, great chief. Wind begin come up. Yanobo has sail in boat. We'll travel fast over water. Not faster than anger of gods. We catch Yanobo. Follow him to ends of earth. Yanobo marked for death. <laughs> Tarzan, open door! Open door! Come in! Uh, uh, lock door, Tarzan! Lock so people of Bayuko not get me! The people of your own tribe are chasing you? The deal! All night they chase Yanobo in war canoe. Wind helped me get away, but they reach this cabin soon now. Save Yanobo, Tarzan! I can't interfere in tribal matters, Yanobo. If you've committed some crime or broken some taboo, you must suffer the consequences. Yanobo will not do crime or break taboo. He swear his truth, not do anything wrong. Well, then why did you run away? Bayuko people want to kill me. Yanobo think if he reach seacoast cabin of Tarzan, Lord of Jungle save him. Please, Tarzan. Uh, listen. It's the men of your tribe approaching... You, you wait here, Yanobo. I'll go outside to meet them. Yes, chief of the Boyuko people? We know man we seek is here. It's no use. Try to keep from us. Yes, Yanobo is inside my cabin. But he says you intend to kill him and that he has committed no crime. No, he not commit crime. He also says he has broken no taboos. He speak true. Well, then why do you desire his life? He commit crime, Tarzan. He born a twin. A twin? Other half of Yanobo die. It is law Yanobo share his grave. You intend to bury him alive because his twin is dead? It's law of jungle people. It's law of Bayukulan. It's law of gods. <laughs> And while the scene of anger and violence was occurring at Tarzan's seacoast cabin, a scene of utter peace and contentment was taking place aboard a small ocean liner a few miles off the coast. The SS African Pride, two days out of Cape Town, was on its way to Monrovia. And at the rail of its A-deck stood a lovely blonde girl and a handsome youth. They held each other's hands as they looked out at the blue sea. Isn't it thrilling, Bob? The ocean? The ocean and Africa and this trip... All of it. It'd be a whole lot more thrilling if it were a honeymoon, Joe. Bob, you promised you wouldn't bring that up again. But I can't keep that promise, Joe. You love me. You said it a dozen times. Of course I do. But I I can't break up the act. Jackie and I have been trooping together since we were babies. I just couldn't walk out on her. But we could still keep the act. What's Jackie got against me? She hasn't anything against you. But we promised Mother and Dad. Okay, Joe, let's forget about it. Where is the princess? In her cabin. I think she's giving herself a manicure. And grousing because I signed us up for this African appearance. Oh. Take my word for it, Jill. You'll live to regret this fierce loyalty you have for your sister. She'll meet some guy with enough money to satisfy her someday, and she'll leave you. Just like that. She wouldn't. Okay, so she wouldn't. So you'll keep on dancing until you're both old maids. And as you get older, you'll both get poorer and poorer engagements. You'll end up working in some run-down, third-rate nightclub somewhere. I wouldn't worry if I were you, Mr. Robert Elliott. The Evans twins will make out all right. For 
once, Tarzan exercised his full authority. The men of Bayuko land were ordered back to their village. They gathered about their chief, muttering dark curses upon the jungle lord. And then, finally, they walked slowly away from Tarzan's cabin in the direction of the beach. Tarzan looked after them for a moment and then went inside to face a cowering Yanobo. Oh, Tarzan, they, they're gone. Yes, they've gone, Yanobo. But I doubt that they've given up the hope of killing you. And you can't remain here forever. You know, well, just what is this native superstition concerning twins? Two Bayuko people. Twins are one person in two bodies. Are made like two because of great curse. Yes, I've heard of that belief. But you not know what it means. In native village, twins' food divided in two. Gift to one shared by other. Twin boys must marry same girl. When one's sick, both take medicine. If one commit crime, both beaten. Born twins, live twins, die twins... One die, both buried. And when did your twin die? Yanobo's mama killed his twin when born. She killed your twin at birth? Nadeo. And she not tell people she bear cursed twins. Then how did your tribesmen find it out now? Yesterday, Yanobo become father. Twins? Nadeo. And Yanobo's mama see new curse on tribe and is afraid. She go to witch doctor and tell truth. Now Yanobo must die, and his sons must live as twins. Almost bad as death. But, Yanobo, you can't desert your sons. I I don't know how we can fight against the superstitions of centuries, but we must try. We, we must go back to your twin sons. We must return to Bayuko land. your makeup. I spoke to the manager and he said he'd fix up the dressing room so they wouldn't I'm be so... I'm not Jill. I'm Jackie. And you can tell the manager not to bother. We're not staying. But I brought all our stuff down to the theater. I, I even lugged that full-length mirror you insist on carrying all over. You should complain. It's all your fault we landed in a dump like this. We have a chance to play in Paris or in Africa. And you choose Africa. I didn't think it was going to turn out to be a place like this. You didn't think, period. Jackie, I admit I pulled a boner. But it wouldn't matter to you if I were right or wrong. Everything I do seems wrong to you. You're not kidding. Why do you resent me? You've never been a twin. You wouldn't understand. Well, try to explain it to me. Jill and I were born within a few minutes of each other. We lay in the same cradle. We took our first steps the same day. When we started to talk, we said the same words. Everything we ever did after that, we did together. School, dancing classes, dates, our first amateur show, our first nightclub date. Everything. Until you came along. But you were agreeable to my joining the act? Because it was good for the act. Good for both of us, I thought. I didn't know you were going to try and break us up. I'm not trying to break you up, Jackie. It's true that I happen to fall in love with Jill, but... Well, it won't do you any good. We're twins and we're sticking together. Nothing will ever split us up. But that's a, a warped way of looking at things. It's not normal. Okay, so it's not normal. That's the way it is. You can kiss us goodbye here, or you can come along as far as Paris. We can still get to Paris in time to take that date there. But even if we broke our contract here, we couldn't leave. The ship's already gone, and there's not another one for over a month. There's a ship leaving from Dakar next week, and Dakar's only a few hundred miles away. Yeah, a few hundred miles of unbroken jungle. I looked at a map. We only have to cross one tiny little strip of jungle, a section called Bayuko Land. <laughs> As stealthily as panthers stalking a prey, Tarzan and Yonobo entered the village of the Bayukos and crept to the thatched hut that Yonobo had once called home. They held their breath so that Yonobo's twin sons would not cry out in alarm. But the Hima was empty, and nowhere in the village could they hear the wail of babies nor catch the slightest glimpse of Yonobo's sons. Only in the sacred burial grounds of the Bayukos was there a clue to their disappearance. Boys, freshly dug grave, Tarzan. A grave just long enough for a newborn child. Just long enough, but wider than grave for a single child. Yes, it is wide. You know both sons born our part. Last one is weak, maybe die. And so they also kill the other one. Like you know both tell Tarzan. Twins they are born, twins they live. Twins, they die. You speak true, Yanobo. His will of God. Oh, no. Yanobo, mm. his twin. He too must die. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait. Wait, men of Bayuko land. I, Tarzan, lord of the jungle, command you to listen to me. Speak. 
For years I've witnessed the strange superstitions of the jungle tribes. I've tried to teach you, my brothers, that many of these beliefs are wrong, though I've never spoken ill of your gods. But all of you must know that there is no evil in a newborn child, nor have you found evil in your nobo during his lifetime among you. And yet you have taken the life of a newborn infant, and now you threaten to kill your neighbor. You say that this is the will of the gods. I say that they are false gods, or that those who tell you the will of your gods lie. <laughs> Enough of talk. <laughs> Quick, Tarzan, we run. <laughs> Not let your noble escape. Also, Captain Tarzan. We hold your noble great chief Tarzan also helpless. Yes, a dozen of your men are managing to hold me. Are these the same brave warriors who killed the child? You talk enough, jungle lord. Now you rest tongue and use eyes. You see what men of Bayuko land do to those who anger her gods? No, no, not kill your noble. Mercy, mercy on your noble. Gosh, this cart's getting heavy to drag along, Jackie. You spent the first two days of this trip telling Jill how strong you were. That was before we lost the trail. We wouldn't have lost it if we had guides. I don't know why those natives wouldn't come along. Maybe they don't like the idea of women on safaris. They took a look at Jill and you. Oh, yes, it was all our fault. Oh, watch out, you're scratching my mirror. You better stop and wrap it up better. Okay, princess. But why you had to bring tons of costumes, gallons of makeup, a full-length mirror, and all the rest of this stuff along is more than I'll ever understand. Hey, do I have to do all the chopping while you two argue? I'm sorry, Jill. I, I'm tying these ropes in a sort of a harness so I can pull this cart and wheel the machete at the same time. I'll take the axe for a while, Jill. Chopping through the jungle will be a relief after talking to him. Yeah. Well, maybe my hands are free enough to do a little chopping. Oh, Bob, why do you have to keep fighting with Jackie all the time? Why do I fight with her? Well, it can't all be her fault. It is all her fault. If it weren't for you, Jill, I wouldn't even talk to her. She's a selfish, impossible brat, and for two cents I... I won't have you talk about my twin that way. If you hate Jackie so much, you can't be in love with me. But I am. If I didn't love you, I... Listen. Listen, drums and, and native music. We must be getting near the Bayuko village. Well... Oh, we'll be all right after that, then. We can get guides there and maybe borrow some food and... They're supposed to be pretty savage. We'll have to take a chance. Oh, I don't think they'll bother us any, Bob. The Evans twins have always been pretty lucky. Tarzan had been able to save neither the twin infants nor the native who'd come to him for help. As he walked slowly away from their village, his heart was heavy. Suddenly, his nostrils quivered. The scent of Tarmangane, a white man, was strong. He grasped a hanging liana and swung upwards. And moments later, he dropped from the trees beside Bob Elliott and Jill Evans. Jill, what's that? You needn't be alarmed. Careful, Jill. I offer friendship. I, I caught your scent a few moments ago, and I came to warn you that the natives of this district are most dangerous. I was afraid they might be. So far, we've been lucky. We've seen no natives and very few animals, Bob, but... Jill, I found the trail again, and we can... Well, where did the boy scout come from? Twins. Yes, we're twins. What's the matter? Haven't you seen twins before? I saw one twin recently, a native. Look, I haven't time to explain now, but you've got to get out of this district as soon as possible. Not me. I'm heading for that village. We need food, and I'd like to hire some native guards. I'll be your guide, and I'll hunt food for you along the trail, but you mustn't go into that village. Why should we trust you? For all we know, you may be leading us into some trap. I failed the last person I tried to help, but I'm not going to fail again, not even if I have to use force. Now, look here, jungle man. I tell you, you're in real danger. Will you come with me? Well, I suppose if you say we're in danger, we'll have to... Well, a... I'm not coming with you. No man's going to spring down from the trees and tell me what to I do. I told you I'd use force, and I will. Put me down! Put me down! I tell you, I won't come with you! I won't! Let me go! Let me go! You may have Bob and Jill fooled, but you haven't got me buffaloed. Buffaloed? There's something phony about you. First you almost killed me, dragging me away from that village. And now you tell me I can't even walk with Jill. 
What is this? I've told you, Jackie. The Bayukos are watching us. They've been following us for hours. I haven't seen them. Besides, I don't believe that nonsense about their killing people just because they're twins. I didn't say they kill all twins, but they have many superstitions concerning them, and we can't afford to have the Bayukos find out that you and Jill are uh, twins. You think that just because Bob and Jill are a few hundred yards behind us, you'll fool anyone into thinking we are not twins? We may, now that you're wearing your hair differently and the two of you aren't dressed the same. But if you're walking side by side, they, they might be able to all see All right, them. all right. I just hope Bob's being careful with my things. Jill and he are still pulling that cart, but why they have to drag a carload of trinkets through the jungle is more than I can understand. It won't hurt them to pull it. I'm doing my share. Bob and Jill aren't doing any of the chopping. Well, how can they if they have to pull that heavy... Oh, careful, Jackie. Don't hack any of those bluish black trees. The uh, thick ones over oh, there. Oh, so now you're going to tell me what trees I can cut. You're not satisfied to merely tell me what to eat, what to wear, and how to do my hair, and where to walk. Now you're going to select the trees I can I chop. I just wanted to warn you Well, if, you... if I want to cut one of those trees, I'll do it. No, Jackie, no! What's the big idea? Practically pulling my arm off. Did you see that sap gushing from the tree? Yes. Wouldn't have killed me if a little had gotten on If you. one drop of that sap had got into your eyes, it would have blinded you for life. What? Some of the trees and bushes in the jungle are as dangerous as the wild animals and the savages. If you expect to come out of this jungle alive, you'll have to do exactly as I say. <laughs> Jill, certainly good to be resting. Oh, yes. But I hate to think of spending another night in the jungle. Well, we can't go on all day and all night, too. Oh, I'm certainly beat. Poor Jackie. She was really tired. Not so tired she didn't make me haul that beloved mirror inside the tent. In the middle of the jungle, and she has to primp. She must have fallen asleep by now, though. I don't hear any sound in there. I don't think I can fall asleep until I get some food. Tarzan ought to be back by now. He's been wonderful, hasn't he, Bob? Jackie doesn't think so. Oh, let's don't start picking on Jackie again. I'd better wake her up. She can never eat when she first gets up. I'll throw a little more wood on the fire. Tarzan may like his food raw, but not me. I wonder what it'll be tonight. You know, I sort of went for that antelope meat that he brought Bob. back last... Bob, she's gone. Jackie's disappeared. Oh, she must have slipped out when we weren't looking. One of the tent pegs in the back has been pulled up. Well, I don't think she'd have gone of her own accord. Maybe those natives Tarzan says have been following You'd us. You'd better stay here, Jill. I'll circle the district, but I won't go far. I don't want to take a chance on your being... Just be... relax, kiddies. Nothing's happened to little Jackie. Jackie, where have you been? Out getting my own food. I won't eat another thing that man brings back. He thinks we can't get along without him, but... Oh, oh. What's the matter, Jackie? I, I, I don't know. What did you eat? Just some fruit and nuts and some mushrooms. Mushrooms? Jackie, Jackie, you've been poisoned. Nonsense. It's just that I'm overtired. I know a mushroom from a toadstool. I'll be all right. In... We'd better take her inside. Bob, look. Natives. Faces peering out of every bush. Well, let them peer. We've got to get Jackie inside the tent and try to do something for her. <laughs> Jill, crying won't bring her back. But to die like that, Bob, in such pain, in the middle of this horrible jungle. We'll never get out alive anyway. Maybe she's better off. What's wrong with Jill? Why is she lying there? It's it's not Jill, it's Jackie. She's dead, Tarzan. She's dead. Oh, that's crazy. She couldn't be dead. I only left the three of you a little while ago. Let me see what's wrong with her. I'm sure that I can do... It's It's true. I can't hear her heart beating. Oh, I never, never would have left it, Tarzan. I wasn't going to get married. She was afraid I was going to leave her. What happened? She went looking for food. I, I guess she ate some poisonous toadstools. I wish I'd been the one who'd eaten them. Oh, if only I'd come straight back. I, I should have, but I saw a band of bayukos, and I thought I'd circle around and avoid them. That's what took me so long. If only I'd... Oh, Jill. What, Tarzan? Jill, if the bayukos find that you're a twin and the other half of you, as they put it, is dead, we're in real trouble. Oh, but at least they haven't seen the two of you together. They did see Jackie and Jill together, Tarzan. When? Just before Jack... Just before Jackie keeled over. We could see their faces leering at us from the bushes. Then we have no time to lose. If we can reach the upper level of jungle I growth... I won't we... leave Jackie. At least not until she's had a decent burial. I understand, Jill. I'll carry her through the back of the tent here, and I'll... 
I'll bury her beneath the branches of a mighty jungle tree. Oh. Bob, you've got to take care of Jill. Have her ready to leave by the time I return. It was a peaceful spot, Jill, right among the great trees and the jungle flowers. I covered the grave with a warm blanket of moss. Thank you. If anything happens to us, Tarzan, we want you to know... Hush! The jungle drums. Stay inside and keep quiet. It's the Bayukos, and they're almost here. I'll go outside. Be careful, Tarzan. I won't fail again. I can't. Where are twins, Tarzan? Twins? White girl twins. We see them many days. Oh, they're inside the tent, preparing to retire. Retire? Yes, they make ready for sleep. Maybe one is already in great sleep. Dead? What gave you such a ridiculous idea? Warriors say see one girl fall down. If one dead, other must die. But they are white women. They're not members of your tribe. Are still in Bayuko land. If one dead, other one die. Is law of gods. And if they are both alive, you uh, you will do them no harm? We follow for many days, not do harm. Unless gods become angry, we not hurt them. But first, show us they are alive. Well, you cannot expect women to leave their beds when they are preparing for sleep, but I, I shall let you see that they are both alive and well. <laughs> You understand, Bob? Yeah, I'm to step outside at the same time you do. I'm to hold one side of the tent flap open while you hold the other. And I'm to say nothing. That's right. And Jill? I'm, I'm to brush my hair, put on lipstick, then extend my hand straight forward and pretend to shake hands. Exactly. And try to control your fear and your sorrow, Jill. We'll be all right if they've never seen a mirror before. All right, come on, Bob. All right. All right, Bob. Hold that side of the flap while I hold this one. Right. Two white women. You see, great chief? Mm. They brush their hair so that it will not be tangled in the morning. Like one woman, they move. What? Proves what Bayuko say. Twin is only half person. See? Girls move same time. Same way. Uh, now put on war paint. Same time. Nadio Tarzan. They live. One not dead. We not harm them. And by tomorrow, they'll be out of Bayuko land, and you need have no fears that they will bring the anger of your gods down upon you. Uh, what twins do now? They're shaking hands. It's the white man's sign meaning good night. Good night, men of Bayuko land. Go well. They're, they're leaving, Tarzan. Yes, Bob, and they're traveling in the direction of their village. That means they won't pass Jackie's grave. They may not discover it for days, and by tomorrow I'll have you in that car. Poor Jackie. I used to fight with her. I, I, I should have tried to understand how she felt. But I guess someone who's never been a twin they, could... They've gone? Yes, Jill. Are you ready to leave now? I can't leave, Tarzan. Take Bob somewhere where he can forget about me. I want to stay here with Jackie. Jill, perhaps neither Bob nor I can ever understand the feeling that exists between twins, but I know this. You're not half a person. You're a whole one, and Bob loves you. Now, were you to remain here, you'd be just as guilty as the ignorant savages who killed that newborn infant. You'd, you'd be wasting your life. And Bob's. I'll try to make you happy, Jill. Honestly, I will. Thank you, Bob. I think I'm ready to go, Tarzan. Jill, someday this will seem only like a, a dream, a very bad dream, but one that's past. I know you and Bob will be happy, but <laughs> if the two of you should ever have twins, don't bring them to Bayuko land. We hope you've enjoyed the story of Trouble Comes in Pairs and that you'll remain for a preview of our next exciting story of Tarzan. A slender youth who has spent years in the jungle leaves the bush and travels to the city of Amdumara. He stops at the Café Val Oriental for a drink of celebration, for he's accumulated a fortune and he's about to leave Africa for good. He never does, for that night he dies... Tarzan attempts to solve the murder and finds himself crossing the jungle with three people, one of whom must be the murderer. 
Tarzan, the transcribed creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced by Walter White, Jr., prepared for radio by Bud Lesser, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. Listen to our next story, Congo Murder, another thrilling episode of The Lord of the Jungle. Music.